Uh. We now fight Richie. Um, the kid that Ash met during one during his um adventures in the Pokemon League in the Indigo Plateau. Who he unfortunately lost to because his Charizard was a major asshole and didn't want to listen to him. And then he had the unfortunate and then Richie had the unfortunate luck of losing after Ash did. After Ash lost to him. Didn't that happen in the in the Johto League too? I mean, uh, Ash fought that dude Harrison, and didn't he lose immediately after Ash lost to him? After he successfully beat Gary too, that was kind of like, wow, what the fuck? I don't know if that happened in the Hoenn League, cause I didn't watch the Hoenn League. I know Ash eventually lost to some dude named Tyson, but. Didn't, did Tyson lose immediately after that? Because that, that would just be an unfortunate thing. I'd like to dub the Ash Curse. You lose to him, you're going to lose... If you lose to Ash, he's going to make you lose in the next... Lose your next fight. Some way, somehow, he'll make you lose. I don't know. Because if it happened three seasons in a row, then I wouldn't just call it, then I wouldn't just call it coincidence. I'd call it the Ash Curse. Because he won on the Orange Islands, and that was an epic battle. Dragonite for the fucking win. Fuck your best shit, Richie. Come on. Fuck! Leave me alone, Butterfree! Oh god! Fuck! Ah, <laughs> shoot! Ah! Remember, use the control stick. I have to use the control pad. Well, it feels different that I can say that. Come on. Well, this shows I'm not perfect, even on very hard mode, which is. As much as I hate to say this, this is almost nothing compared to Jesus mode. Oh, Richie also came back during the Johto season, didn't he? he Help that baby Lugia? With that chick, what's her face? Luca? Was it? You see how much I remember about the show? Fuck.
Go away, you stupid bug blocks. Oh, fuck that one up. Come on. Uh, let's see. Ha! Woohoo! <coughs> Metal Get! Hi there, cutie. What's your name? I see you have a puzzle that you can eat metal. That's good. I seriously doubt that your Pokemon can you compare to my ice type Pokemon. But with a face like yours, how can I resist? Are you ready? Um, okay. Lorelei, the ice, the first in the Elite Four of the games. The ice type mistress of, um, doom and destruction? I don't know. And arguably the most attractive female Elite Four member ever. And then they, and they and they had the nerve to call her Prima in the anime, in the show because, uh, and this cloister is owning my ass. Fuck! Was that like a times nine or some shit? I didn't I didn't keep track. Oh, you fucked that up. Don't take me down, young. Don't take young lady. Ugh. No, but you can't win them all either. I just like how Lorelai, because you get to use Lorelai in the puzzle mode. And she's like a total asshole in the versus mode, but in the puzzle mode she's pretty cool. And she just lost. She's hot, and her ice Pokemon were cool, but that was a total oxymoron, so they kind of collided and told her to end up in her losing. Yeah, I went there. Hmm? You startled me. I was in a deep meditation, meditative trance. I had trained fighting type Pokemon. Since you've disturbed my deep relaxation, I'm obligated to make an example of you. Prepare to lose the fight of your life. Dude, we were just we were just talking and ready to go fight, and you have the and you have the nerve to go like, ah, I have to fight you now, because you, ah. I have to beat the fucking hell out of you because you, cause I bothered you? Ugh. Bruno, the second of the Elite Four in, in the Red, Blue, in the Red, Blue, Yellow games, and the third Elite Four in Gold, Silver, Crystal, because he was so awesome they had to bring him back. In the anime, he's a pretty decent guy. Well, in the games, he's kind of a jerk. And then he gets, then he gets all sad when he lost, when he loses, especially in Pokemon Stadium 2, where he's like, "Fuck! How did I lose?" At least that's what I remember. Also, we never had a primate in the games. I don't remember if we actually had one in the show. Also, he has the most Brawlic Onyx ever. I mean, yeah. We all know that Onyx, intimidating as it, as it may look, is a freaking handsy Pokemon. Steelix, on the other hand, uh, that's a different story. Steelix is intimidating because it earns that title. Slow as fucking molasses, but at least it could tank like a motherfucker. Look at all this Pokemon knowledge pouring onto me. You, th you guys didn't know I had this. Maybe. Huh. 
Oh, uh, let's see. Yeah, this is the point in the game where the AI goes absolutely ape shit. Oh, what the fuck? Leave me alone! Fuck! I'm losing it! No! <laughs> Back to the pad. The control stick made me slip. 